Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining today for the Better Business Bureau, it's Tiffany Schultz, our BBB expert. You see how I'm working that in there this year? Uh, Happy New Year to you, Tiffany. Welcome back. And how are you doing? Happy New Year to you, too. I'm ready to face 2023. Here we go. I, I, I'm hoping I haven't said 22 like so far in 23, but I feel like I'm I'm sure I've done it. But uh, anyways, uh, New Year, New Year's resolution. What's the biggest resolution that you can come up with? Uh, it might be losing weight, joining a gym, anything like that. But there, it's so tricky now because there's so many different gyms, pills, blah. You don't want to get yourself in trouble. So uh, BBB is here to help us get in shape with our minds right now on uh, what uh, joining a gym. So what do you give uh, as your first response to think twice before joining? So many of us have New Year's resolutions that center around weight loss, getting in shape, uh, going to the gym, just getting on a regular schedule, right? Uh, But before you join a gym, we want you to do your homework. You should first determine your fitness goals because there's different types of gyms out there. Some gyms just offer you equipment 24 hours a day to do your own thing. Other gyms provide classes and trainers and other types of services that you may be interested in. So once you narrow down your fitness goals and what you're looking for, that's going to allow you to narrow down the gyms that you're going to want to take a look at and research. And guess what? It's in the name. Better Business Bureau uh, can help uh, you uh, find uh, some reviews and ratings on businesses. Because if you are checking out a business for the first time and you're not sure about their history or whatever, you can start with BBB.org. Head on over to BBB.org. We're going to be able to share a lot of information for you. And all this information is free for you to gather. You want to check out ratings, reviews, uh, complaints. If a business has a complaint against them, read the complaint. How did that business owner respond? How was it resolved? Uh, Businesses can have complaints. I mean, you know, A business is usually not complaint free. So keep that in mind with an open mind as you're reading reviews, really do your research so that you can make an an informed decision before you even pick up the phone or send an email to the gym that you're looking to join. Yeah, this next tip that you have is take a tour. I would actually look at the complaints and write some of those, you know, if you were concerned about certain complaints or whatever, you could on your tour of the gym, you can say, hey, some people said that it's not always clean here or or I didn't get my money back or whatever. I mean, you can ask those questions uh, beforehand uh, while you're on the tour and, and making sure that this place is legit. You should certainly ask questions when you take a tour and taking a tour, especially at different times a day and checking it out will really answer some of those questions for you. If there's complaints out there that the place wasn't clean, see for yourself. If there's a complaint out there that um, somebody wasn't happy about something, go ahead and ask a manager about those. Really get your questions clarified. You also want to take note of the wait times for equipment, um, ask about any rules that you should be aware of, um, and really just take in the overall feel. Do you feel comfortable at this gym? You're going to be there a lot. You're investing some money. Do you really feel comfortable going there? If you don't feel comfortable, maybe it's time to look at other options. Absolutely. And uh, maybe you're like me where you're like, do you have any free trial offers or any uh, gimmicks here that I should be aware of uh, as I'm uh, checking into this? Gyms usually offer a free trial offer for you to come for and try them out for a week. It's seven days. And when you do use that trial offer, I recommend that you go ahead and use that trial offer because you're going to be able to kind of get a feel of what you wouldn't get a feel for on the the tour yourself. So go at different times a day. What's the crowd level? Uh, What is the equipment wait time? You know, if the tour tells you that you should never wait for equipment and you have, you see that there's long waits for equipment, you know, maybe that's something that, you know, you're not interested and you want to look at other options if you know everything is great and you're having a good time that free trial free trial was well worth your investment of time now the the sales tactics there's going to be some places that are going to push some things on you you know you might feel that pressure but i think uh your advice is be prepared 
be prepared, but avoid high pressure sales tactics. A professional gym should always let you take your time in reviewing the contract, the terms and conditions, and um, even with the ability moving forward. If somebody is pushing you into signing the contract and getting that back without asking, answering your questions, or um, you know, maybe your questions are being delayed and getting answered, that might be a red flag that it's not the right place for you. But if they're allowing you to take your time, they're really answering those questions for you, maybe this is the place where you want to start. Absolutely. And uh, next, uh, after you've got all of this information, you've done the tour, you've done all of the thing, you got all the numbers in front of you. What's the next step? Calculate. You should fully read that contract, understand the terms and conditions. If you don't understand what's in there, make sure that you ask the questions. There's usually going to be a introductory period where the rate is lower, but your contract could be spread out over 12, 24 months or longer. So you want to know what your true costs are going to be because that introductory period is likely going to end. And you also want to find out what the cancellation clause is. What are you responsible for? Can you cancel at any time or do you need so many months in before you can cancel? You want to know all that before you sign on the line. Yeah, I would think the next part is uh, understanding the terms, condition, reading through all this. This is where I'd want to call you up and say, hey, Tiffany, I'm about to join a gym. I've got these uh, terms and conditions. Uh, what should I be looking for? Uh, the cancellation policy is super important, as well as the true cost. When does that introductory period really end? And if you spread it out over the course of the contract, you have a lower rate um, and then it goes up and maybe it even goes up the third year if it's a 36 month contract. So really pay attention to those numbers. Yeah, I'd hate to get a cancellation fee on top of everything else because I didn't read that part of it or whatever. No surprises is what your goal here is, uh, certainly. Tiffany, if folks want to learn more about uh, tips for uh, joining a gym safely or other tips on uh, making uh, wise decisions when choosing products, companies, or more, where can they learn more? Head on over to BBB.org. All right. So uh, you're going to help me join a gym. Is that uh, the, the sum up here? I'll read over your contract for you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tiffany. Have a great day.